Here is another recently extinct animal that you probably didn't know existed, the Honshu wolf, also known as the Japanese wolf. The Japanese wolf was a subspecies of gray wolf native to three islands in the Japanese archipelago, including the Honshu Island, for which it is also named. Now, reportedly, the Japanese wolf was for a long time a low-scale problem for farmers on Japan because they had a tendency to feed on livestock. However, they really were not that big of a problem and could be kept at bay rather easily, and so they just kind of existed on the islands. However, by the early 1700s, wolves were becoming more and more hunted, there were bounties, and people were just killing them on sight, pretty much. However, by the 1730s, diseases such as rabies and distemper had spread to Japan from the mainland and was infecting all of these wolves, causing them to become way more aggressive and way more dangerous. So there was a policy set out to eradicate wolves, even the non-diseased ones, on those islands in Japan. And if anyone saw one, they had to either report it or take care of it themselves. And that led to the rapid extinction of the Japanese wolf by the early 1900s. And in 1905, the last confirmed Japanese wolf was killed. Now, there were a lot of things that led up to its extinction. This one was mostly entirely man-made, but there were a couple different causes of that. One of the causes being livestock predation. However, that was also in part due to deforestation and habitat loss with the deforestation for agriculture and cities and everything, reducing the natural habitat of the Japanese wolves. The habitat loss would drive them closer to human settlements, particularly farmers in rural areas, and a lack of a suitable habitat would decrease the prey animals as well, causing them to prey on livestock. That close contact with humans also caused them to have closer contact with dogs and other animals, causing the spread of disease, again such as rabies or distemper, which then increased the aggression levels and, again, close to proximity to humans, caused many problems. And then there's the diseases themselves, which will cause death if not taken out by a human or other causes first. Now, there have been multiple unsubstantiated claims seeing the Japanese wolf around the island, but those have either been cases of feral dogs or the occasional Eurasian wolf that made its way over to Japan. And even though there are still sightings happening, none of them have been actually confirmed. So as of right now, the Japanese wolf is still considered to be fully extinct.